Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, I was doing my grinding, and I'm here at the trade city of Salgidos, and I'm going back and forth and finishing up the missions here, and something very interesting has happened. Uh, by the way, you'll notice I've made Ragnar into a samurai. I'm going to go over all of this here in a little bit. Now, you'll notice a couple of things. Number one, you'll notice that I have some swines on my team, and what a swine is, is an upgraded version of a pig. So I had two pigs, or, or I was a pig or something. Anyways, they did some mating, and a swine was born. And a swine is a level two version of a pig. Uh, you'll also notice that I've gotten rid of uh, my behemoths. Anytime a, be a behemoth has been born, I've gotten rid of it because I haven't needed it anymore. I've also gotten rid of my chocobos because I haven't really needed them anymore, and there's nothing that they breed anymore that I really care about. Now, the swines have breeded, and they have gotten a rare spawn, a wild boar. And a wild boar is an excellent, it's not, it's not a good monster, but it, you can poach something very, very, very rare from it. Uh, and potentially you can poach a ribbon. Which, and this is the only way to get ribbons in this game, is to, is to poach from wild boar. And a ribbon it does what, it, what you think it does, in that it protects you from all status ailments. So that can be really, really, really helpful. So what I'm going to try to do is basically now that I've got this set up in my going back and forth, I'm going to have these swines, and I probably could have been doing this earlier in the game, but I, you know, I was trying to breed a bunch of different things, and uh, honestly, I'm not great with the breeding mechanics, so I'm sorry about that. But now I've, I knew I wanted to get a wild boar and get a ribbon, and I finally got it going. So uh, what I'm going to do now, by the way, I'll show you what I've been doing here, is I'm just running errands, and 13, mm, that one's a little pricey. Wow, that one's pricey too. Wow, all of these are pricey. I'm not going to be able to do any more here. Whew, holy cow. Um, all right. All right, well, I guess I'll probably only do one more then. Sure. Now, uh, Lightning, I've turned into a summoner. Terra's a time mage, and Ragnar is a samurai. And I'm going to go over all of this here in a little bit. Okay, I'll give them their 12 days. I said, those ones are pretty expensive, so I don't know if anything's going to really come of it. So, uh, oh, by the way, I've also got uh, Ramza has become, or I've got uh, Poach back on him. So, uh, okay. Well, let's see if we can get into a battle. All right, perfect. Be able to do this right away. Uh, and let's see. Let's get my wild boar going. Very good. And now, uh, let's see. I want to get. By the way, uh, I have also turned Balthier into a chemist, or land you into a knight, so they can start working on some secondary abilities. And I've also been working on Rafa and starting to get her abilities, uh, starting to get her level and her skills going. Um, and there's a very special reason for that. So I'll quickly poach this wild boar, finish up the battle, and then hopefully the thing will spawn what I want it to spawn. So, let's get Ramsey in there, just like usual, and we're going to get our where is he? Yeah, let's get our wild boar going. We want to get a common poach, uh, hopefully from him. Okay, uh, I've turned Balthier into a chemist, and Orland you into a knight, uh, so I can get them on, working on secondary abilities. Um, I've also been working with Rafa to try to get her going and to build up some of her skills, and you'll see why I'm going to be doing that here in just a little bit. Um, so, here we are at Mount Germanus. Hopefully this will be an easy battle, um, but I can finish this off. Now, you want to be careful in this battle, no matter who your face... Well, let's take a look at the battle first. Uh, no, we should be okay. We can destroy the enemies just fine. It's The issue is keeping the wild boar alive, uh, because the enemies can come down and swarm them if you're not careful. So you just want to watch for that. Okay, so let's get Orlando into place. And just start having him go to town. Some of these enemies here. And you've seen me do this enough, so this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, can't quite hit him. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I did get him. Oh, cool. Wow, I didn't kill him? Yeah. So the problem with the knight is it just doesn't do as much damage. So you just want to watch out. So you just want to watch out for that. Again, it's not a big deal. But, because uh, eventually I'll turn him back into a, eventually I'll turn him back into a Holy Knight uh, with Knight abilities as secondary. I'm going to go over all that in a little bit, so. Okay, well, I'll finish up this battle. I'm going to poach this Wild Boar, 
And then I'll let you know when I'm done with all that. So with Rafa, I'm just getting her going. And uh, again, I'm choosing the Sky Mantra when I get a ch Sky Mantra when I get a chance. So okay, I'll finish up with this battle. I'll poach the wild boar, and I'll be back once I'm done with that. There we go. Excellent. So I poached the wild boar. Now you want to be careful. Uh, sometimes the enemy can get to him first, and or like if you run into an archer or something like that. And if that happens, just use Balthier as a chemist. Or have a chemist or somebody along that can revive the wild boar so you can get him up and uh, so you can raise him and then finish him off. But okay, you see me take care of all this. I'll be back once I'm done with this battle. Okay, so I finished up with that battle real quick. Now, if I've done this correctly and hopefully this works out and I got the, the common purchase, yeah, I can now purchase a ribbon. And this is the only way to get a ribbon in the game. So, definitely want to pick that up. By the way, this is all of the things that I've been able to, uh, I've gotten from poaching uh, during my time. Uh, yeah, there's another Chantage. I got um, a few Share Ashes, which is nice. Some Guardian Bracelets. Again, I don't need these things, but I have so much money, I might as well. Some Maiden's Kisses. Antidote. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing really, really, really well. So, uh, okay. I believe that's everything. So, yeah. Now with that, I'm probably going to equip it on... See, the problem is that it majorly drops Agrios, so I may equip it on uh, Terra. We'll see. But okay, I'll finish up with everything, and then I'm actually going to meet you uh, down here at the Balia Swale for what we're going to do next. So I'll take care of all that, and I'll meet you there. Okay. So I've made it down here to Balia Swale. Now before continuing, let's go ahead and get my party rocking and rolling. And I want to show you some of the things that I've been doing here. Now, okay. Now I told you I've been working on him as a chemist. And basically what I want to do is I basically want to set him up so that he can pretty much just destroy anything in his path that he wants to. Now I believe with his abilities he can crush Helm. Uh, okay, I just got to double check. Because he's got all of Meliodul's abilities. So if he can't... I've got everything learned. And if you can't quite remember what he can do... So armor, helm, weapon, accessory. Okay, so which means... Armor, weapon... Armor... Uh, let's see. Armor, weapon, helm, and accessory. So we can't crush his shield. So basically, he can now destroy anything in his path. I want to get these different things going... Uh, and eventually, uh, if you have some extra stuff, uh, you can learn, eventually learn the rest of these abilities to try to max this out. Um, I've got equipped swords in case I want to get him working on anything else. Which, learning the counter ability might be useful um, if you want to do that. Parry if you want to get, because like, right now you can see he has a 35%, but with his shield, it's a 46%, so it's a little bit better. So, better chance of, uh, of that happening that way. So, you can do it that way if you want. Uh, let's see, well, got that learned... Equip shields don't care about. The rest of that stuff I don't care about. Yeah, let's run MP. Why not? Not that it really matters. And, okay, very good. Uh, do I want to keep him as a knight? Yeah, I'll keep him as a knight for now. Okay, with Balfir, I've got a ton of points with him as a chemist. And the big thing that I want with him is elixir. Because I want to start putting those elixirs to use. Uh, let's see. Removing stone, that's going to be important. Let's get remedy. And then, in the meantime, you can... Uh, X-Potion, that's going to be good, too. And eh, the rest of this stuff I don't really care about. Yeah, I've got him as a chemist, uh, just so he can be working on something. Um, is he Mastered Sky Pirate yet? I don't know, he hasn't. Oh, he was... Oh, that's probably a secondary. Might as well get that mastered. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, and he'll keep working on him as a chemist. That should be all very good. Now, I got Ragnar working as a samurai. And the reason is because I needed... Because I, I just thought about this. I needed something for him to do. And I might as well have another person that can be a support unit for us. So I'm going to basically get him all set up. Yeah, so that he can be a secondary person that can heal for us and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, if you want, you can work on some... Well... And I'll give him something else so he can shield for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... And I don't know why I didn't think of this. I'm going to turn him into a monk for now, and I'm going to test this out. In some areas, this has worked. In some areas, it hasn't. What I want to do is I want to get him set up 
with Aido as a second ability, because I don't really care about the throw ability. Uh, and I've got dual wield, so now he can punch twice and ignore all the issues. So basically, he's all set up, ready to go, as if he was Ninja. The only downside to this, and actually I should probably... I bet he's got the Bracer on, yeah. Uh, I'll give him the Herm I'll give him the Germanus. So basically what's going on with him now is his HP is a little bit higher, believe it or not. But uh, his move is down minus one. So we'll see if that works for him. It might, it might not. We'll have to play out this. Oh, I got another Wild Boar? Wow. Okay, cool. Um, with all the JP I've sent with my Summoner. Yeah, she's doing really good. Wow. So let's get Bahamut learned. And... Do I need anything else? Uh, reflect. Don't really care about that. Uh, half MP could be useful, so I'll probably get that next with the Summoner. Uh, okay. Now, again, I'm not going to be using the Summoner in this part, but it's there just in case. Okay, with Terra... With her, I want to get... I could get Meteor, and that could be... That could be just, just to have something else for her to do. Yeah, let's get that one. Uh, if I have some more time, I'll get quick with her. The rest of the stuff I don't care about. Mana Shield, I don't care about. Uh, with her. Okay, she's going to be our support character. Excellent. Now, with her, I had to get her back. So let's go ahead and get a uh, gold hairpin. White and robe. Uh, actually, Luminous Robe with her is fine because of the Shantage. So let's get that going. And, uh, okay, actually, do I want to get the ri Actually, what would the ribbon look like? Let's take a look at that. Uh, big drop in MP. Hmm. Okay, I'll try the ribbon to see if I have enough. Because um, having her protect from all status ailments could be good. Okay, and I believe that is everything. So I just wanted to show you all that. If you want, again, I'm shocked I got another wild boar. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess having these two swines breed is a good thing. Okay, now that I... Let me get all set up, and then we'll keep going. Okay, well, we're all ready to go here at the Ballia Swale. Now, after the events at Milan, and before you head to the Orban, uh, the Orban Monastery, if you go over here to War, War, uh, Wargilis, Warhillis, I don't believe you have to read anything about this. You just go here. Huh? Looks like there's some people here at the tavern. Rambus is probably going to have some milk, right? Oh, really? What are you talking about? Yeah, I believe it. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. Treasure? I want treasure. Whoa! Down in the depths, out of sight and out of reach. It's going to be important. Oh, a wizard. A man would have to be a fool go there. Oh, wow. Midlight's deep, and rightly so. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, are you kidding? This is absolutely a show. So, we have heard that there's treasure on an island, but it's incredibly dangerous, and we should absolutely not go there. Therefore, we must 100% do the opposite, and go into the midlight steep. The crevice, eh? All right, let's go. Now, for this battle, this is interesting because I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna take Orlandu. Uh, I'm going to take Agrias, if I can find her. Probably passed her up, there she is. Um, I'm gonna take Rafa, because that's important. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put Rafa here. Uh, I'm going to take Terra. Yes. And I'm going to take Ragnar. And this is going to be my, my party for this one. Now, you don't actually have to take... Uh, you don't have to take Ramza, which I think is interesting for this. But, okay, let's go. And here we are in the mid midlife deep. Midlife's deep. In the area known as the Crevice. Okay. And when we get here, I'm going to show you the areas of this. Now, many of you have heard of this dungeon before. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Who turned out the lights? Yeah. You cannot see in this. We have to defeat all the enemies. Now, let me go over the rules for this. Now, 
Here's the deal with this area. You cannot see at all what is going on. The only way you can know about the different, yeah, see how there's a big drop off there? So the only way that you can know uh, as to what's going on is you basically have to follow the paths and you can see that. This is where teleport and ignore elevation are crucial, uh, very helpful. So that's number one. Now, in order to proceed, the basically, this is a treasure, uh, this is a place of infinite riches. There is many, many, many wonderful treasures to be found here. Now, if you, now there's two things about this is number one, you have to defeat all the enemies. But before you do that, you have to find the secret exit. And there are either multiple, uh, there are either multiple, there are multiple treasures to be found, but there's also multiple places where the exit can be. And you need to step on that tile before you go on. Uh, so it's kind of confusing and stuff, but we'll make sure, I'll, I'll make sure I explain to you as we go. All right, let's go. And I'll, I will put all the maps to everything as we go. And you just hold on for an hour, land you. Now, the reason that I have this party is as such. Agrios and Orlando are going to be um, are going to be my people who kill everybody. Rafa is going to find everything. She's going to be my treasure person. Ragnar uh, is here for support, and also because he's got to ignore elevation. And Terra is here because her teleport ability and for support, uh, but her teleport ability can also. By the way, the enemies in this area often have 20 or 25 levels higher than you, so you just want to keep that in mind. Okay. Now Terra is here uh, because of her because of her ignore elevation ability, or because of her teleport ability. She can see everything. Now let's get the Moss Mune going so I can get haste and speed on everyone. Also, yeah, haste and speed are going to be huge in this. And I'm bringing a Ragnar along also. I don't know why I didn't think to do this earlier, but. And again, I'll have my map to everything to show you um, where everything is in this dungeon. So we should be good to go there. Yeah, and there's all kind of, again, there's all kind of enemies you have to face, but it's all good. Okay, Orlando, yeah, so you can see. I'm going to try to get it set up so that um, you can start dealing damage from afar. Yeah, so Orlando's going to be, oops. I forgot to get that in place, so I hit that other dude, too. My bad. That's okay. And I'm going to work on abilities with Orlando as well. Okay, now, here's why I like to have Terra with me. is because she can basically, with the teleport, she can reveal the whole map. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you're going to have to do that. But uh, she can reveal the whole map to us. And she can provide some support. I may turn her into a black mage for this next battle, or for the next battle. Where's Protect? I may turn it into... There we go. So she can start dealing some damage. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, Agros. You get in there, and you start going to work. Another reason why I like to have the... Oh, damn it. Uh, uh... That's okay, I think. Now, you also want to be careful where you step, because you want to make sure that you're able to get all the treasure. That's here. So you just got to be very careful. So it's... I, I'm, I think it's completely okay to have maps in this area as well, so that you know what exactly you're doing. Okay, now I believe my first treasure that I can find is over here. Let's go see if we can pick that up. Dang it, I got his phoenix down. That was supposed to be a blaze gun. So also, if you don't get what you want, uh, you can also restart the dungeon until you get what you want, and it's fine. Again, I don't. these first... This first one's I don't really care about too much. Because, uh... Fuck that, please. Thank you. Uh, because the treasure isn't great on this first one. Nice shot, Agrios. Thank you. Uh, and again, on this first treasure, there's only a Blaze Gun, there's Elixir, a Kiyomari, and a Glacial Gun. None of which I really care about. Glacial Gun especially, because I have so many of them. Okay, now Ragnar's here. If he wants to go and just start punching people in the face. Like, I, got, I got Ragnar here so that he can start punching people in the face. If necessary. Plus, he can also provide some support with the martial art abilities. Which is why I got him set up as a samurai with Aido. So he can start, I guess he has access to all kinds of abilities. Ragnar's going to be huge 
in this in this area as a monk. If you want to get him as a samurai, you can too. Okay, let's see if we can get Agrius' turn so she can move off that area and hopefully. Oh. Yeah, again, this first one is not too hard, but believe me, they get a lot harder as we go. And of course, it gets to Rath's turn next. Okay, let's see. Okay. Alright, uh, also, I started working on her abilities here, so basically, she's got. Uh, basically, she's able to. Yeah, she can start doing some random status effects. So Rafa is actually a very useful character in this in this place here. Okay, you want to just double check. Again, you always want to check to make sure that. Um, yeah. So and basically now I can pretty much. Uh, Uh, also, I can pretty much just do, do, do anything now with Orland you. I'm keeping him as a knight just to max this out. Once this is maxed out, then I'll go back to putting him as a holy knight. Or a sword saint, rather. Okay, so this is, this is a very unique area, and it's kind of cool. I do like it. Yeah, I think uh, next time I'll turn... I'll get Terra as a black mage. Uh, probably with white mage as secondary, because now that I have... Uh, okay, now you get off of that. Actually, can you find the exit? I don't think you can find the exit yet, no. And again, uh, you can just, just refer to the map. Um, what's the geomancy here, by the way? Oh, disable. That could be cool. Oh, damn it. Oh, shh. Please don't disable him. Please don't disable him. Please don't disable him. Okay. Phew. That was almost catastrophic. All right. Yeah, and if I can put him some, get some random status ailments going, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. I had to take care of something real quick. Uh, okay. Now, let's check and see if... There we go. I knew there was a treasure there. Yeah, there's an elixir over there, so that's great. All right, good job, Rafa. Okay, let's see... Yeah, and, you, and basically with these commands, you can see the different abilities that they can do. So, yeah, and I can randomly strike him with a, some status ailments, which, again, could be kind of cool. All right, try this one more time. Okay, now, with Ragnar, we want to try to be able to find the exit. I believe this is one of the possible places we go, and I kind of have Orlando check that out. All right, in the meantime, you punch this guy in the face. Woo! Look at all that. <laughs> yeah. Look at all that damage, man. Ragnar's going to become a beast, dude. Okay, it's going to be great. Yeah, again, so definitely make use of Terra so that you can see uh, everything that she's doing here. Okay, is that another... There's a treasure over there. I doubt she's going to be able to make it all the way over there. Let's, Let's just get over here for now. Go! And... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some black magic going. With her. Eh, could work. Definitely get black magic going with her next time. Alright, what do you got here? Oh good, she's just trying to be stupid and poison me. Thank you. Yeah, those those shields are so helpful. Good shot, Agrias. Alright. Yeah, I'm probably going to show you these whole battles, uh, just so that you can... Okay, uh, over here is one possible exit, so let's see if we can find it. Nope, no exit there. So again, the exit in this first map is in one of five possible spots. Oh, I just realized this could hit Agrios, which could be bad. There we go. That's the only... Yeah, that's the only problem with this. Is sometimes if anybody moves into the area of effect... It could be problematic. All right, good job, Rafa. Okay, let's see. You know, the next place is where... There 
could be is down here. Okay. Get both of them. And again, you want to make sure that you find the exit before all the enemies are destroyed. Otherwise, you have to do the floor again. Okay, let's see. Now, next place there's a treasure is all the way over here. Okay, let's see. Celestial Void. There. Hopefully these goblins move into place. Like I said, the treasures in here I don't really care about too much. Now, oh. and sometimes the enemies will, will move on to a spot... And if he does, then uh, that could possibly give an indication as to where a treasure might be. Boom! Shot, Terra. Nice. We have to try out Meteor with her uh, at some point as well. Okay, let's see. Now, let's get... Okay, I just want to check it very carefully. Okay, treasure right there. Whoops, no, I don't want to go down there. Well, actually... Let's go ahead and do that so I can punch this guy in the face. Damn it! Ow! Yeah, also, because Ragnar's a little behind on levels, he might actually gain a bunch of levels in this area, so that could be that could be good too. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to wait to see what Celestial Void does. Oh crap. Ragnar might get his ass kicked in this. Just thought about that. Ragnar, please survive this. I might have just killed my own guy. Damn it. Oh, good. I just killed my own guy. Again, it's only danger with Celestial Void. Well, I killed him, too. Okay, and now she gets her turn. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. Just checking my... Okay, I believe there's a treasure over there. So let's get over here. And you just hang out. Okay, now, unfortunately, there's... Now, here's where we start to run into some troubles here, is because there's only one enemy left, and I haven't found the exit yet. Actually, what I could do is have them start finding the egg. Oh, wait, there's one. Is there one enemy left? No. Uh, what I can do is have them start finding the exit. Let's see. Let's see. Just look at my map here. Right there is a potential treasure spot, so I need him to get off of that so I can actually get the treasure. Though I don't really care about that treasure too much. Okay, let's just get you into place. And again. This well, Agarus may take care of this for me if she. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get. Uh, let's at least get him back to life here. Let's see. This should work. There we go. Yeah. Let's get him back to life. I'm going to guarantee it, because he can survive. Okay, now I believe there's a treasure right here. Yeah, and there's a QMR if you want it. Okay, so now what I need to do is, because there's, there's one more treasure, and that's uh, a glacial gun, which I just don't care about. So I need to try and find the exit here. Where did she find that treasure? Right there. Okay, so potential exit spot is right here. So... Let's get Agress down here. You just hang out, because I gotta, I gotta try and find the exit here. Yeah, most of the exits are on the bottom floor. So again, this is a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool concept. 
but it's a unique area for sure. Okay, or land you. Let's get you over here. Actually, if that knight goes down and I can pick up some extra abilities for Orlandry, that'd be cool. Now, if, I wish I could get Ignore Elevation with Rafa, because that'd make a life a lot easier. Okay, I believe with Agrios. Okay, this is a potential exit spot. Nope, still didn't find the exit. Let's see what the goblin's going to do. Oh, you can hit Terra all you want. I don't care about that. Okay, she'll get... she so automatically come back to life anyway. Okay, or land you, let's see. Let's get you. That's a potential exit spot down there too. Okay, let's get our land you down here. Oh yeah, pff, now he leaves a crystal. And actually a crystal here helps because then it, it helps to illuminate part of the area. So actually having crystals could be very helpful as well. But if you have a map uh, telling you where to go, then that could be good too. Okay, now we're here. This is a potential exit. Nope. You didn't find the exit either. Okay. Well, let's shock right to get you some HP back. There we go. Okay. Tara, let's see if we can get you to find the exit. If you can make it over here. That'd be great. Aha! Yes, so again, now that that's done, now we can finish up this, now we can finish up this area. Treasure chest, don't care. Okay, Agrios. Finish him off. Find your nation, do a little more damage. Yeah, so again, you gotta find the passage leading deeper before you finish them off but and again the last treasure that's here is a it's a glacial gun yeah glacial gun which i don't care about and i'll i'll straight show you where it is the glacial gun is let's see one two one two one two yeah the glacial gun is right here and she can't quite get to it unfortunately she gets this crystal of course she can why would she be able to do that okay you just hang out Land you, could you get up to that crystal? Because that would be. Uh, what's a turn list? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, finish this off. Because again, I don't care about the abilities. I just want to end this, move on to the next thing. And there you go. And that's how this work. That's how this area works. We get some extra. Ooh, a lot of extra money. Very good. And that's how the midlights deep work. But what treasures await us as we continue down in the in this area? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all. This is going to be fun.